What's up everybody, it's that guy Skimpy and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the J-Rig or the Jika rig Jika rig I don't know, I just call it the J-Rig. So yeah, I know it started in Japan and it's making its way over here, but it's pretty much a cross between a drop shot and a regular jig. So uh, this right here is a birch bug. This is my favorite, favorite uh, bait to use on it. So I fish it kind of like I would fish a football head. You know, I would cast it out and kind of drag it across the bottom, you know? But just like a drop shot, you know how you kind of bounce it up and down? I'm doing the same thing with this. It's kind of, it's kind of bouncing. You still want to keep the weight, keep contact on the bottom. But yeah, so my typical size weight, drop shot weight I do is a, a quarter. Um, I know some people go a lot smaller and some people go bigger, but I think a quarter is is perfect for me. And uh, yeah, so this is a four-aught hook. Um, I also use a three-aught hook, but yeah, I usually stay around four-aught hook with it. And it's really, really easy to use. And uh, you don't even need, you know, a lot of special equipment to make it. Basically, you need a drop shot weight you need a split ring and you need a hook. I mean, that's that's pretty much it. But I'm gonna show you a little trick how, because I pour on my own drop shot weights. So to make it a little bit, move a little bit better and a little bit easier, what I do is I take the line grip swivel and I put it upside down when I pour it. So that way you have the, the, the eye on the top, the loop on the top instead of in the lead. So the line grip is actually in the lead. All right, let's take a closer look. So here's a closer look at what it looks like here. It still has the swivel, it still swivels. But yeah, that's it. That is it. So I'll show you how to pour some drop shot weights. Okay, so here's the three molds I have. I have the uh, the teardrop, and then I have the finesse drop, and I also have the finesse drop with the multiple sizes. Like I mentioned, I'm trying to do it one hand here. Like I mentioned, I use quarter, so I have a mold with all quarter. I wish do it molds would sell the teardrop in just quarter i would buy that in a heartbeat man so yeah those are the drop shot molds i have i don't i don't have the ball one i don't i don't really use ball weights there but yeah the this one is key man this one's awesome to have the finesse drop shot in the quarter ounce model okay so if you look at this one i swear flipped around the line grip swivel so it has the eye on this side instead of the line grip like it usually would. The reason being is it's easier to put the uh, the split ring on there, but that's how I load it if I know I'm using it for the J-Rig. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a do it number seven line grip swivel. And I have one out right there, you can see. So there's a grip on one side and a swivel and the an eye on the other end. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pour these. I use the ladle. Okay, I'm just gonna pour them right in. And that's it. Okay, so now that I have them poured, I just wanna go over a little bit of the drop shot weights. So, the drop shot weights that I like to use are the pencil style weights, I think they call them finesse. And uh, the size that I mostly use is a quarter. And uh, the 
the reason I really like using the pencil, I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the teardrop are like my, my favorite drop shot uh, weight. But the reason I really like the pencil weight, the pencil style, is like I said, I always pour them in the quarter, right? So let's say I'm uh, fishing a little bit shallower and I don't want it all the way to a quarter. I can just take cutters and then cut it smaller so it's just one size smaller, you know? I mean, it's that easy where you can just cut it and make it a little bit smaller. With the, the bell, some people call it the bell or the tear, tear uh, drop weight, you can't really do that. So that's why I really like using these. So to make it, it's really simple. Um, obviously, you're gonna need a hook. Um, this is a, a four aught. You can use, um, you know, two aught all the way to five aught, depending on, you know, the size of your bait and whatnot. But um, it's pretty simple. I have some uh, split rings, uh, size two, and I just put the split ring right on the the weight and uh, onto the hook, and that's pretty much it. So here, let me do that for you real quick. Okay. So here it is, um, it's all finished here. I had to use the split ring pliers, but I'll show you the reason why I, I flip the uh, line grip swivel around and leave the eye. Let's see if you can pick it up because then you can just put the split ring right through that eye and then right through the eye of the hook and I meant that is it, that's everything. That's what it looks like. And then you put your favorite bait on there. So there it is, guys. The J-Rig. It's a, it's a cool technique. It's not something that I use all the time, but I'm actually starting to use it more and more. And so it's a great technique to have in your bag of tricks there. So all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you will try this out, man. At least try it out. All right, guys. That guy Skimpy, please subscribe, please like, share, comment, all that good stuff, man. All right.